Hello everyone. Welcome to my videos on elementary differential equations. This is video number four for chapter one. In this video, we will go through a more complicated example for using um, directional field. The example we take is the following. Y prime equals T plus Y. So for the first time, we see that the right-hand side contains the term t, and that makes the situation very complicated. Let's make some observations first. So first, we're interested in where the direction of field will have horizontal arrows. That's when y prime equals zero. And this, we see that t plus y equals 0, then y must equal negative t. So in the yt plane, this is a straight line going with the slope negative 1. Then um, for the area above this line, where y is bigger than negative t, we'll have y prime bigger than 0. And finally, for the area below, that is y less than negative t, and then we'll have y prime less than zero. Well, unfortunately, these information are not enough um, for us to sketch the directional field. We need to get more specific information. So here's the idea. Let's attempt to sketch direction of field along the line y equal negative t plus c for various values of c. The reason for that will be clear quite soon. Consider the case c equals 0, then y equal negative t. You put that in and you see y prime is 0. So or your directional field will be horizontal. Now let's pick C to be negative one, and then Y equal to negative T minus one, and put that Y in, and you see that T plus Y is negative one, so Y prime is negative one. Now let's try C equal negative two. We shall be quite comfortable with this now. Then we know t plus y is negative 2, and then y prime is that value. Let's pick a positive c value to be 1. And then by the same argument, we know y prime is 1. So it's a positive slope. And finally, if we pick c to be 2, and then y prime is 2. So from the discussion, you might have noticed that along such lines for a certain choice of C value, you will actually have Y prime equals C. So um, what are these lines? So we see these are straight lines for various values of C, and they all have slope negative 1, so parallel straight lines with slope negative 1. Along such lines, the y prime equals c. They all have the same slope. So how do you think the direction of field would look like? Okay, so here is a computer-generated plot of the direction of field. Um, again, there's a lot of information on this plot and allow me to go through them one by one. Let's first neglect the red curves and only focus on the blue arrows, which are the directional field. Remember, we said along parallel lines with slope negative 1, we have um, all the arrows pointing in the same direction. 
Let's first look at the case c equals 0. Then it's a straight line passing through the um, origin with the slope negative 1. That will be the line. And along this line, we will have y prime equals 0. As you can see, these are horizontal arrows. Second, consider c to be negative 1 then you, ha you basically um, shift this line down by one unit. So you will have this straight line here. And along this line, y prime is negative 1. Then you see the arrow all pointing down in the negative 1 slope direction. And then if c shall be negative 2, and then, okay, so take this line shift it down by one unit, then you have this line, and here you see you have slope negative 2, all these arrows have the same slope negative 2. A similar analysis can be applied to positive c's, let's say c is 1, and then you, and it's the same thing, you just take this line with slope negative 1, I am move it up to here, so look at the line with slope negative 1, and then you see all the arrows here, y prime is 1, they are all with slope, positive slope 1. And similarly, if you have c equal 2, and then this along this line, they all go upward with slope 2. So, as you can see, this simple equation, y prime equals t plus y, is generating a rather complicated looking directional field. Now, how does the solution look like? As we have known by now, the solution will depend on the initial condition pick a different initial condition, the solution will behave very differently. There is an interesting solution for this problem. That is, um, if the initial condition y0 is negative 1. That point here. Here you see it lies on the line yt equal to negative t minus 1. So if you start here, um, the direction of field tells you to go down with the slope negative 1. And if you go down with the slope negative 1, then you remain on this line. And on this line, all the direction of field will be going down with the slope negative 1. So you stay on it. Therefore, this straight line is a solution. Okay, so we found one solution. We can write it out with this initial condition. Otherwise, um, we're not so lucky as to be able to write out the solution, but we can see the behavior. Let's say if your initial value is above, is bigger than negative 1, you start somewhere above that, um, that line, a straight line solution, then from the directional field, you know that you will have direction bigger than negative 1, so you drift away a bit from it. And as you progress, then you drift further and further away, and your slope gets um, bigger if you take into consideration the sign also. And then at some point, it will be horizontal, and then at some point, it will turn positive, and then it becomes steeper and steeper going up. Okay? So as t goes to plus infinity, the solution will go up to infinity. A similar discussion can be carried out for solutions below that one, say y0 is less than negative 1. And there you see you will point away from that, because say at negative 2, then your slope is negative 2, and this slope is negative 1, so you drift further away from it, and which results you into going further steeper down like a slippery slope, and you go to negative infinity. 
So for this example, um, there seem to be a kind of a bifurcation point right here. If the initial value shall be negative 1 or less, then your solution will go to negative infinity. But then if you shall be a teeny bit higher than negative 1, then the solution eventually blows up to plus infinity. Okay, so um, let's have a further discussion on the asymptotic behavior as time goes to negative infinity. You can still utilize the directional field, but then you think the arrows shall be reversed because I'm going backward in time. Okay, And um, we see that um, if this behavior should continue, then this line here is still a solution, and then this solution will go to infinity, and so will that solution. Yeah. And that's um, what we summarized here. Okay? One can actually say, um, for any initial condition y is 0, and y will go to plus infinity as t goes to negative infinity. Well, that's all I have to say about this example. As a general remark, I would like to comment that if you have t on the right-hand side, it is um, not an easy job to sketch the directional field. You need to be patient, and it takes a long time. How do we end this video after this complicated example? How about the following musing? I can do arithmetics, I can do algebra, but it's in geometry where I draw the line. Okay, hope you enjoyed it and I see you next time.